Blinken postpones trip to China after balloon is detected over the U.S. Beijing said the object, which has been seen flying over Montana, was used mainly for weather research and had strayed off course. The Pentagon described it as an intelligence gathering balloon. Let's dive into some of these details, shall we? Secretary of State Anthony J. Blinken on Friday postponed a trip to Beijing after a Chinese high-altitude balloon described as an intelligence-gathering airship by the Pentagon and a stray civilian device by China was detected floating over the United States this week. The postponement was confirmed by State Department officials, citing the balloon was speaking on the condition of anonymity to discuss sensitive issues. Mr. Blanken and a deputy spoke with the Chinese embassy on Wednesday night, and on Friday morning, Mr. Blanken told China's top foreign policy official, Wang Yi, that the balloon's course was a violation of sovereignty and unacceptable, according to a State Department official. There's no new da date for Mr. Blinken's trip to Beijing, the official added. Beijing had sought to defuse tensions with Washington on Friday over the balloon, expressing its regret over the incident and saying the balloon was for civilian research and had deviated far from its planned course. The explanation from the Chinese foreign minister came after Pentagon officials said on Thursday that they had detected a balloon most certainly launched by the People's Republic of China over Montana, which is home to about 150 intercontinental ballistic missile silos. After initially telling a news conference that it had to check on the claims about the balloon, the ministry said late on Friday in Beijing, that the balloon's course was an innocent mistake. The airship is from China. It is a civilian airship used for research, mainly meteorological purposes, an unidentified spokesperson for the ministry said in a statement on the website. Affected by the West westerlies and with limited self-steering capability, the airship deviated far from its planned course. The Chinese side regrets the unintended entry of the airship into the U.S. airspace due to forced majeure. Forced majeure refers to a violation caused by forces beyond a party's control. Neither side has suggested that Beijing communicated with Washington about the balloon before the controversy broke on Thursday. But China said it's in a statement on Friday that it would now talk with U.S. officials about how to properly handle this unexpected situation. State Department officials noted China's explanation of the balloon, but one senior official said that the incident would have narrowed the talks that Mr. Blinken and the other American and Chinese diplomats had planned to hold. Another State Department official said that the United States made clear to Chinese officials that this was an unacceptable and irresponsible incident. The balloon was still over the United States on Friday, officials said. While the Pentagon played down the potential value of the balloon for acquiring intelligence, the initial public reaction by Biden administration officials had underscored how brittle and delicate relations with Beijing have become even over one balloon. The Defense Secretary Lloyd A. Austin III held a meeting about the balloon with senior U.S. defense officials while he was in the Philippines, and President Biden was briefed and asked for military options, a Pentagon official told reporters. China appeared eager to avoid letting the balloon become a festering irritant during Mr. Blinken's planned two-day visit to Beijing, which had been scheduled to begin on Sunday, speaking before China's statement was issued, Drew Thompson, a former Pentagon official who is now a visiting senior research fellow at the Lee Kane Yi School of Public Policy at the National University of Singapore, said the timing of the balloon flight was at least uh, maladrite. China is also starting smarting over the United States' announcement on Thursday that it would expand its military presence in the Philippines, gaining access to four more sites that potentially could be used to marshal forces to deter or respond to Chinese military threats to Taiwan. 
this balloon surveillance mission really demonstrates that even when Xi is trying to improve the tone of the relationship and the rhetoric softens, Mr. Thompson said of China's top leader, Xi Jinping, there is no interest in Beijing's part to act with restraint or amend its behavior in ways that actually contribute to genuinely improving the condition of their relationship. After the Chinese foreign ministry issued its explanation, Mr. Thompson said, I don't think this statement changes the fact of the violation of U.S. airspace. At best, it is irresponsible. China's Ministry of National Defense, which usually comments on ministry issues, did not comment. China is a responsible country, always strictly abides by international law, and has no intention of violating any sovereign country's territory of airspace. Mayo Ning, a spokeswoman for the foreign ministry, told a regular news briefing on Friday afternoon. But she said then that the authorities needed to check their reports. The Global Times, a Communist Party-run newspaper, said uh, said that has been the a. Uh, the Global Times, a Communist Party-run newspaper that has become a vehicle for pugnacious, sometimes quasi-official reactions from Beijing, suggested that the balloon, rep the balloon reports were in line with what it called U.S. efforts to create a Cold War atmosphere and exasperates China's U.S. tension. It's funny they say that when they're the one <laughs> throwing a balloon into a different country's airspace, and that gets the U.S.'s fault. Okay. Plans for Mr. Blinken's trip to Beijing firmed up the, in November when Mr. Biden and Mr. Xi met in Bali and agreed to try to rein in tensions. Volatile strains have built up over Taiwan, technological barriers and bans, human rights issues in Xinjiang and Hong Kong, and resulting American sanctions on Chinese officials and most broadly over a growing military rivalry across Asia and the Pacific. Mr. Blanken would be the first U.S. Secretary of State to visit Beijing in over four years. After the blue, balloon news broke, a chorus of Republican politicians in Washington urged the, Biden, urged the Biden administration to take a tougher approach to China. China's brazen disregard for U.S. sovereignty is a destabilizing action that must be addressed. The president and President Biden cannot be silent, Speaker Kevin McCarthy said on Twitter. Mr. McCarthy has said that as Speaker, he plans to visit Taiwan to the democratically ruled island that Beijing claims as its territory, which could prompt China to hold another round of intimidating military maneuvers near the island, similar to the ones it held last year when Mr. McCarthy's predecessor, Nancy Pelosi, visited Taiwan. Pentagon officials have refused to disclose many details about the balloon, including the size and features, making it harder for outside experts to assess its intent and value. We did assess that it was large enough to cause damage from the debris field if we downed it over an area, a senior Department of Defense official told reporters. The once humble balloon is now is one of many technologies that China's military forces have seized on as a potential tool in their rivalry with the United States and other powers. Other advanced uh, machinery, including drones and hypersonic glide vehicles that can maneuver at high speeds in the atmosphere. In studies and newspaper articles, People's Liberation Army experts have tracked the efforts by the United States, France, and other countries to use advanced high-altitude balloons for intelligence collection and for coordinating battlefield operations. New materials and technologies, they have said, have made balloons more resilient, maneuverable, and far-ranging than past generations of balloons. Technological advances have opened a new door for the use of balloons. One article in the Libertarian Army Daily, the, the main newspaper of China's military, stated late last year. Another article in the same newspaper noted that airships in the upper reaches of the atmosphere could also become like a thousand eyes, helping 
to monitor outer space. Interesting. Taiwan's defense ministry has said that in early 2022, China flew balloons over the island. The balloon sent over the United States may be used to collect information on air defense systems or atmospheric conditions, said C. G. Yun, an analyst at the Institute for National Defense and Security Research in Taipei. American forces would have little trouble following the blue now, even at much higher altitudes than those spotted over Taiwan, he said. Basically, they're very obvious, and because of their large volume, they're very easily tracked in time by radar, Sue said. Yeah, this is very interesting stuff. Um, I don't think it was an intelligence balloon. Probably not. That was probably just what the Pentagon jumped to. That They probably just jumped to that conclusion. But it makes more sense. It was just irresponsible Chinese behavior. I mean, look at them with pollution and everything. That's just kind of how China does things with COVID. They didn't talk about it. They just try to sweep everything under the rug until, you know, they get outed and then they blame the other person like they did with this. Oh, they're just trying to start propaganda and war propaganda or whatever. It's like the yours. it's your balloon that came into the United States is air uh, space. So it's like, why aren't you taking more responsibility? That's just what Chinese, uh, the Chinese generally do, unfortunately. Uh, but what do you think? Do you think it is an intelligence mission? Do you think uh, it's a weather balloon? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, please give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel for daily news updates. Hit that notification bell and share this video to help spread the news. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.